but I tell you what, man, and I want to—I don't want to derail because I know we want to talk all about Mandalorian, but I couldn't resist taking a look at how A New Hope looked in 4K. Oh yeah, and had to man, do it. Man, man, does that look good? It does. It, it looks real nice and crisp. The sound is great, mm -hmm. and of course, everyone's buzzing about that Han Solo versus Greedo Cantina tweak. Here's a scene that's getting tweaked once again. Yeah. Um, they can tweak it all they want, quite honestly, because to me, only the original version exists in my own personal head canon. Han shot first, biatches, and that's the way it's always going to be. But here we have audio, actually, Jason, of this new uh, this new addition to the Han versus Greedo sequence. Now, it does keep intact the Harrison Ford head bob that he does, you know, to <laughs> avoid the, the blaster bolts. And it uh -huh. does appear that Han and Greedo kind of shoot at the same time. A lot of people are talking about the editing that goes or that, that that happens with the how long, how many frames the explosion itself mm -hmm. contains. But um, in essence, this, the 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 main thing about the scene, and we all know the audio from that scene, like the back of our hands. Um, so any addition to it is going to stick out like big time. And there is an additional piece of Greedo dialogue right before Han blasts him. So Greedo like gets in the last word now. Yeah. So not only does Greedo shoot first, but he gets in the last word. Uh, th th this is crazy. But here, here's a little audio of that sequence. It goes on just a little bit longer than you're normally used to. Just for you to do that, please, that Franco. Yeah, Oscar. Yes, I bet you have. My clunky. What are you talking about? My clunky. What? My clunky. My clunky. I got a bad feeling about this. My clunky. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> It does kind of take away. I mean, it just... Yeah, there's some it, with the pacing. Yeah, it's, it just lingers. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if this is really the best addition. Like I said, they can keep tweaking it all they want. The only version of that scene that will ever exist in my personal head canon is the, the, the edition from 1977. Han shot first! Don't you ever forget it. You know, that, that Han Solo head bob... Uh, to the right, uh, th that's up there with um, CG Java. They just can't get it right. Well, no it matter just what they like do, a, they just an incredible can't. waste of time. Yeah, it really is. It really that is. That scene needs no alteration. It needs no editing. It's perfect as is. But the word is, you know, it was George Lucas who oversaw the McConkey edit. That's what it's going to be known as now, the McConkey. <laughs> How do we do? Like, seriously, is that the, is that word on the street? Is that that George was yeah yeah brought in? Like, now that? you know you know as well as I do the 4K restoration of the films was well underway before oh, right yes. Disney was sold off to Lucasfilm. As a matter of fact, we were at Lucasfilm headquarters when someone told us about that, off the record, of course. Right, and that's that the transfer weird. that would have been put onto a 3D. Yeah, right. That would have been converted right. to 3D. Yes, you're absolutely right. McConkey. Um, <laughs> the McClunky <laughs> You know, give me, give me the original crate Dragon call from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh -huh. Give me R2-D2 not hiding behind rocks. <laughs> give me Han shooting first. And you can take your McConkey and shove it up your ass. I don't. Okay. I still don't know what George's hang-up is. I mean, he created such an iconic uh, mm -hmm. character in Han Solo, and you know, to just go back and apologize for his character so many years later, it's it's so really, lame. It's really so lame. lame and really weak. It just all this. This and this, weird... this one. Even, this one's even worse. I mean, it's just the fact. I mean, they don't even translate McClunky for you. Every every other is word that he says is translated. McClunky, McClunky, yes. So why McClunky. don't they translate? Why don't they translate it? 
Yeah, right. What is he saying? Now, right. see, that's the thing we'll be debating for years to come now. What was Greedo's last word? What is McConkey? It has to be out there. Doesn't Sebulba say it at some point? Doesn't Jabba the Hutt say it at some point? We have to research this. We have to find. No, I don't think Star anyone's Wars ever said who it. Who says McClunky and Huttese? He's out there. He's out there. We will. We will bust this open. Investigative report opens now. We have a new Star Wars. There it is. Investigative right. report file has been opened. We're going to find the character that said McClunky, and we're going to figure out what the hell that means. All right. Because Back to not nerds who speak a Klingon language <laughs> uh, fluently, you know? This right. is stuff that we uh, understand is all fictional and is being made up as it goes along. You know there's somebody out there listening right now that's like, oh, please. McClunky. <laughs> Everyone knows McClunky. In her Did you know McClunky? 